Today we will learn how to do this effect in Adobe Photoshop by just using motion blur and heat map gradients. So let's get started. We will start by adding our stock image in Photoshop and resizing it. So that looks good. Hit enter. Just take the half of our image and press command J to duplicate. Go to blur and motion blur. Make the value a little too higher. Press OK. Duplicate by pressing Alt and go to blur. Again motion blur. Same frequency. Press OK. Select both layer and convert to smart object and press mask. And by using brush tool, start brushing on the other side of the image. The effect should only appear on the right side, right? Only one side. So we will removing the effect from the other side and like it goes good it looks good we just want effect okay now convert both to smart object and like resize it because the white borders aren't looking good right so we'll resize it and press okay now we will add gradient map so we'll go go to effects gradient map I have already saved gradient map from MVX freebie. I will attach the link in below. So go and please check out that. So I really like this gradient or maybe uh, this one. So yeah, I, I want to go with this one. I start an experiment with the draggers in gradient box. Okay, I just want this to like it be more darker or something. Press OK. So like resize it more like little bit more because we are seeing the borders. Now it's time to add text. You can add whatever you like. I am writing my text resizing it to a little bit bigger. By double clicking opening blending options go to color overlay and just add a lighter color from the artwork select any lighter color from the artwork now we will select uh, like add new layer we, I, I already saved a brush like a spray brush kind of so I will just start painting on the text uh, selecting orange color and like we I want orange color on top of my yellow text so it appear it looks appealing right just a little bit of spray on my text and now that layer I will do mask and remove the like spray from unwanted areas like from orange especially I just want it on my yellow text So yeah, now we will convert uh, them to smart object, not the gradient, only them to smart objects, right. Now we will go to noise, add noise and like not too much, just a little bit, two or three point, maybe whatever you like. Okay, hit okay. Okay, that's looking nice. So now we will add some more typography on top of that. Now I will add vectors. I will make them red so we can see on the artwork. And old is on top of that. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you.